Hey, Gales. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you guys? It's good to be here. It's, uh, I'm excited to have you guys here on stage. Literally, I'm speaking with the guys that I've been in, what? Shira and iZombie, which is so weird because I watched these show, these two shows on the on my own account, like not be told about this. Now when I got told, oh by the way, Michael, you're gonna be interviewing AJ and Ellie, I was like, okay, cool. She goes, do you know who they are? I went, no. And she goes, Michael, have you seen iZombie? I go, yes. She played this character. I was like, swears. And she goes, do you like Katara? I go, yeah. One of them has been Shiva. I went. I did, I did connect the two because obviously they told me that oh, yeah, you'll be interviewing sisters. I went, okay, cool. It didn't mean nothing to me. I was like, okay, cool. They, they're, they're singers, Michael. I went, okay, cool. They've been in Disney. I went, okay. I don't watch Disney. Sorry, guys. Spoilers, not spoilers. I don't like Disney. Too tough. Um, what well, is really special to work with someone that I've grown up with? I mean, my whole life has been either role play or. Um, some sort of skit or live performance or whatever it might be and it's always been with her So it's cool that like our life and our work and our job as adults has centered around our Childhood which is a, really a lot cool. of it is play like truly it is our life is like cosplay, which is so neat um, But I would say for me I feel deeply connected to our band because I do think just from a young age because the songwriting started so young and the love for instrumentation and playing live I would say the music speaks to me in a really heavy way. I think there's also that instant gratification on stage that you receive when you're playing in front of a live audience, which you don't necessarily get with acting unless you're doing live theater. Um, but I do have some characters in my life that I feel incredibly connected to, like Lainey Lewis and Katra and Stavoni. So acting is a huge part of what I do, but I do think the music is probably number one for me. I think I would agree with AJ. I think the fact that the, the music is is so personal to us directly. You know, we're not playing a character, we're, we're our, ourselves when we're up on stage. I think that um, kind of gives it this like special magical quality. Um, but again, like being on set and being able to portray a character that people are able to watch and fall in love with, you know, night after night is also its own special superpower in itself. So they're both really wonderful mediums, but I think the fact that we get to do the music together is is something that gives it like just that little 10% um, boost uh, for, for me at least. That's a great answer. And by the way, seeing uh, you guys act in I Saw Me and Goldbergs, it actually made me want to try acting in middle school. In fact, I, I act and my sister actually started music in middle school th thanks to your songs. And Thank you, that's oh, so cool. That's Thank you for sharing that story. Yeah, and for my audition in Music Man, I actually revised a line you, Lainey Lewis, did with Barry Goldberg in, in the Goldbergs. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and I also did a, did a scene with Aizami with, with you acting with, alongside Ro the lead actress, and let's just say it, oh, it changed my life and I wanted oh to gosh. try it. Thank you. That's so we're, sweet. We're honored. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks thank you for, for your questions. questions. No, thank you and keep doing hard work. Thanks. Well, so my, me and my sister grew up watching Cowbells and everything else on Disney Channel. So I guess, obviously, I know you've just said like you prefer like the music, but obviously that was a really nice part of my childhood where you got to kind of do movies and things together. So could you potentially see yourselves now in adulthood doing a movie together and if so what would you want the movie to be about and would you be characters or would you want to be yourselves i definitely want to do that i mean ali and i loved making cowbells together and about 10 years ago we made a film together called weep away for now if you haven't seen it it's really special and it it basically tells the story of our sisterhood living together in Laurel Canyon, which is a very special neighborhood. Right before Allie got married, we kind of went off on our separate separate paths. But for me, I do see us doing another film together, especially after that movie. I think, you know, it's interesting. I, I, I can see us playing characters again, like Courtney and Taylor and doing something like that. But I also can see us playing ourselves. Um, I would love to do a movie that almost feels like a, um, a behind the scenes look at our life on the road. Allie and I have talked about possibly doing something that really documents our life on tour. And that would of course be 
ourselves. We wouldn't be portraying a character. So I, I can see our, ourselves doing almost a documentary style film, which I would love to do. But in terms of scripted, yes, I would do something together again for sure. And we've kind of talked about you know, what would that medium look like? Would that be a movie, a show, maybe it's animated? Um, and, and right now we're in the middle of developing a couple projects um, that would be in that space and it would be us together. And one of them actually involves music. So I think it would be really fun to be able to work together again at this age. Um, I think we would probably appreciate it even more now than when we did, you know, as, I don't know, 17 and 15 year olds. So, um, for sure, that's on, that's on the horizon. Forward to it. Thanks. Thanks, Jasper. Uh, hi, I'm Bethany. Hi. And hi. this is a question mostly for HA. So, my uh, partner was the one that introduced me to the show She Mom and the Princesses of Power. And it's something that, um, it's a show that's quite a standpoint in our relationship, I'd say. Uh, and yeah, we were just basically wondering what was your favourite scene to, um, to, to to record in that show. Oh my gosh, that's so tricky because I feel like we did like sixty episodes, so to pick a scene is really hard. Um, I would say, well, if I was to pick an episode, I would say one of my favourite episodes was Princess Prom. Um, I just love the writing. I love everything about that episode including our wardrobe at the prom was really special some of you have cosplayed as Katra and Princess Prom which I really appreciate um, and then I would honestly say the finale the two-part finale I mean it's a huge part of the show and obviously the relationship between Katra and Adora really comes to a head where we get to see their friendship blossom into something more which I think a lot of fans you know had desired from the beginning um, so that's a really special moment in time for the show that I'll, I'll forever remember. And it was very emotional to record. You know, Amy and I were together during that moment in the booth, and we both were, like, tearing up because the scenes are just really powerful and really moving, and I think Nate has a really incredible way with words and also just real-time emotion that not every animated show captures. Um, so I think this this final two, two episodes was probably some of my favorite work. So that uh... Princess Pomps is my favorite as well. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good. Thanks. Hey, guys. Hi. Um, Ali, I loved that you said, um, in terms of making music, you're making up for a lot of lost time, because as you know, same. Um, so I'm really excited to see you guys live next year. Um, and obviously, like, I'm particularly very excited to hear live uh, potential. But I was wondering, uh, for each of you, which song do you get most excited to perform live? Most excited to perform live? Um, if I was to say like a song from the past and then a song from the present, um, I would say that playing Rush live is really special, uh, especially because we did on this past tour, we did like a mashup of it with a current song and we kind of change the chords slightly so it it kind of goes immediately into rush in this really cool way um and, it, and now it's it, it almost feels like that's the way that rush should kind of always be played live um so i would say that song from the past and then a song from the present um i've i really enjoy playing a song called sun choke live um it has a, a lot of a lot of love from like the fans uh specifically around that song for whatever reason and maybe if like I had known that people would love that song so much, we would have maybe put it out as a single. Um, but yeah, I think those two for me. Yeah, I think for me, um, on the last tour, Ali and I started playing Division for the first time live in a long time. Um, obviously that's from the Insomniatic album and that to me is a really special song. There's a moment where Ali and I are both on the piano kind of doing like a dual part, which is really a, a lovely moment in the show. And I think vocally, it's a really powerful song. Um, and then when it comes to like the newer material, I would probably say the song that I love playing live the most is Break Yourself. Um, there's a moment on stage where we played uh, Lollapalooza and we opened the set with that song and it was such a special, powerful moment. And I just remember being like, oh my gosh, like this is exactly where we're supposed to be. And that song just felt so good live with the band. So I, I really think Break Yourself is like a favorite for me. Actually watched that last night. Um, yeah, amazing. I also loved um, 
your mashup you did with Symptom of a Touch into Am I Alright? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. Anyway, thank you so much guys. Love you. Thank you. Just to be AJ, like your capture is so like important to me. Like I got like tattoos from Shira, I got like it's just so meaningful. Um, when I listen to a lot of your guys' music, I end up relating it a lot to like Catra and like other characters. Uh, I was wondering if you've got any specific songs that you think represent like the characters you play, or like if you had to choose a song from yourself, like what what would you like? Wow, oh, that's a really cool question. Um, like a song of ours that kind of represents maybe how I feel about Katra. I think um, from the Touch of the Beat era, I'd probably say Don't Need Nothing. Because uh, I think that lyric, a touch of the beat, gets you up on your feet, gets you out and then into the sun, is something that Katra would need to hear. I think there was a moment in time where she just was kind of living in her own sadness and not willing to really think about what life is like outside of that. And I feel like that song would be like an encourager for her. That's a really cool question. And if you, for any of you guys that did have questions, I know we didn't get to you, but come by the booth and ask it. We would love to answer, for sure. Thank you guys, you've all been great. Take care. Thank you, thank you so much for your time. And we'll hopefully see you out on the road. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you've seen, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe today and turn on the notifications to be notified on new videos. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.